Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a gorgeous uh, little story there. All right, look at this. It's May and we have snow. When we looked at this uh, yesterday, it was bare mountain snow at the higher peaks. And now they're going to have like uh, four to six inches when all is said and done. We're looking at Towski Valley over there. Now for Albuquerque, as canyon winds work in overnight from 11 o'clock to 11 o'clock in the morning, we're going to have those strong canyon winds really impacting areas to the east of Interstate 25. Now as we uh, look at 11 o'clock tonight, you can see the stronger winds getting ready to move in and then after after midnight, it really starts to crank up. Look at this, 5 o'clock in the morning, you have winds gusting over 50 miles an hour throughout much of the Northeast Heights. You get right to the river, not as bad, and then starting to taper off a little bit as we get around 8 o'clock in the morning. And then when that high wind warning ends at 11 a.m., you can see the winds are trending down. But as we go through the afternoon, it's still going to be a gusty afternoon. And then for your Friday evening, those canyon winds increase yet again, but it won't be quite as strong as what we're going to be encountering overnight with those wind gusts up to around 60 miles an hour. Saturday, scattered showers and thunderstorms on an uptake. And then for Mother's Day, breezy and milder with a passing shower or storm around for many of us. This low pressure system is pumping in the moisture throughout the northern mountains. And as it kicks in our direction, especially as we get into Friday night on into Saturday, we'll see showers and thunderstorms increase over northern and eastern parts of the state. But yes, more snow accumulation across the higher peaks through tomorrow, which will be great as we look at the forecast tomorrow. Tomorrow, those strong canyon winds for the first part of the day and then starting to uh, just get windy in the afternoon before increasing again as we get into tomorrow night. So uh, for 7 o'clock in the morning, you see those snow showers throughout the northern mountains turn into scattered showers and thunderstorms as we get to the afternoon. Rather cloudy over eastern parts of New Mexico. We'll get on into Saturday and showers and thunderstorms will scatter into the Albuquerque and Santa Fe areas, more organized to the north and to the east. And as we go into Sunday, uh, we'll still see some storms to work around but it will be a downtrend with uh, winds not quite as strong, more in the breezy category for your Mother's Day. So uh, isolated to white scattered showers and thunderstorms Friday and Saturday in Farmington. It'll be breezy in the afternoon before those temperatures start to take off into the lower 80s. Southwest will be in the 80s with uh, gusty conditions over the weekends at times, with the uh, 70s holding out throughout much of the weekend for southwestern sections of New Mexico and Silver City. 67 for a high over in Ruidoso, so mostly cloudy skies throughout Eastern parts of the state, scattered showers and thunderstorms increasing by Saturday and warm temperatures as we get deeper into next week. Las Vegas, some showers and thunderstorms will scatter during the afternoon and evening, becoming more organized as that low pressure system kicks out for Saturday, less active for your Sunday. Northern parts of New Mexico will be in the 60s with a 48 over in Red River with that snow starting to work into the area. We get to Saturday and Sunday, Santa Fe, the showers become a little bit more organized and really from Friday night on into uh, Saturday, we'll see showers and thunderstorms increasing there, and the metro region will have, well, those strong canyon winds in the morning, windy throughout the day, well, canyon winds increasing again for tomorrow night, some isolated showers and thunderstorms around, scattered storms a bit more active by Saturday afternoon. Sunday, it will be breezy, a passing shower or storm around 75 degrees, so a couple degrees below average, and then the warmth kicks in for Monday and Tuesday, a slight drop in temperatures, and breezy as we work into winter. Wednesday, but yeah, overnight those strong canyon winds will kick in gusting up to 60 miles an hour, so be alert for that.